Oh boy. All right. Next set starting off on attack, leaning towards A, where there is a ton, a metric ton of Killjoy utility. Oh my god. Four players, too. I mean, that's a that's a bad stack. They've managed to take the spike up the middle of the map. <laughs> on cat into tree and yeah tree's gonna be fine but there are a few problems here it's gonna be really hard to get in through a door and food's on the other side right as soon as they funnel in there he is victor already good for two with the frenzy mummy's good for one as well just a couple of members remaining on the side of exit dwifo's left alone in a 1v3 the spike is in no man's land this is a difficult ask for dwifo Difficult to ask is an understatement. There are a few weakened players, you know. Long right, get the consolation prize of the orb. I like it. Yeah, man. Take you what get you a, can get. <laughs> yeah, if you can get a few frags here, you know, you can hang your hat on that because the fact is, the team just walked into a four stack with Killjoy Utility. I don't know if there was a read there, it was a straight gamble, or if Exet and their Vons only go A on pistol, but <laughs> Envy with one hell of a read to start this half. Well, and like Lex, we talked about, right? Like we, it, it was there, right? It was like watching a train wreck unfold before your eyes. You know, you're not going to be able to get in through a door, which is why Thwaifo is still alive. And meanwhile, Victor's on the other side of Tree, waiting with the frenzy. There were just so many things that, Ten seconds left. yeah, it, an excellent read, call it what you will. It pans out beautifully for Envy. And yeah, they did lose uh, Victor and, and, and Mummy, but I mean, they, they read Exit like a book there. Yeah, they come away from that round looking like absolute geniuses. The meat grinder right here, the crossfire, just... You're seeing nothing but inks light up your screen, yeah. man. There's just sparks flying. And we take the pistol and... We expect a conversation about, you know... Momentum... You gotta expect Envy carrying the, uh... Powerful second half that we saw on Haven into Ascent here. That's a scary thing on the attack side of Exit where you got zero rounds in the prior map. So, gotta figure Envy is gonna put their foot on the gas and not let go for as long as they can. Two nice. early kills coming in for Caboose here at A main as well. Yeah, and like the gun difference is, is gonna be very heavily felt in this round, but you're already seeing Exit kind of go back to how they normally play maps on the attacking Player side. Dwifo again, playing the sniffer on the opposite side of the map, making sure nobody's lurking their way in while they heavily press somewhere else, and then they can choose if they want to flip the map or not. But it's already a, a change from what we saw on the attacking side on Haven, where they, for by and large, were just bunched up in a death ball trying to brute force their way into sites. I'm pretty caught up on the reference to Dwifo being the, the, the offset man. It's being referred to as the sniffer. I love it. You like that? You, you dig sniffing sniffer? things out, man. <laughs> Just over there, up to no good. Trying to find an opening for his team. He did right there, but here will be the first rifle round for the side of Exit. Strapped a bit on some light armors, which pulling up against some, I say some, four specters and an operator on the side of Envy. This is a lot like the start of uh, of Haven, yep. where that investment right early on into the operator, you know, Mame already looking for a pick towards A main, will find nothing. So that information alone, pretty darn valuable for Envy, knowing that X set is occupying outside of B site and middle, and be adjusted accordingly. Two players towards Pizza, one at B main. That's Rashi is dropping the Aldron early, so that information comes through that the B push is potentially there. They've yielded B main and quickly exit press forward. Yeah, and the thing is, Envy should know this at this point, right? Because they spotted Wifo booting out, and then BCJ used his drone, so they have a decent idea that the hit's coming towards B. They have market control, and again, the spike is in a brutal spot where Pure dashed in. He dropped it. Victor on the side, looking to get an opening in with the curveball. He's able to do just that. As members of Envy are starting to drop, oh. this is an excellent response from Exet Aaron on the Astra. Good for three already. We'll see what Mike can do with the Outlaw. One, two, three. It looks like he might just try to save it. We saw such a such a fruitful return on investment when he bought the op in the bonus on on Haven. He look at this point, he's lucky if he's able to keep it into the next round. Yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty big if Exet could, you know, somehow get it out of his hands. But they're very aware of the fact that. Holding on to these three phantoms, trying to lose them to the likes of an operator yeah. over at Defender Spawn. That is right. just 
not a cost that you're willing to pay at this point. Mm -mm. So you'll probably let him have it, but this is a, uh, you know, kind of to what you're saying, Doug. It's a very different story being told just in this round. And you think about how devastating it would have been if they lost it here because that snowball effect on Haven really, really made it hard for them to even find openings at any point. Well, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever. I don't think did they ever come out with an opening frag in that half. But, but hey, you just won your first round here. And it, it may have taken the entire map to win an attack side round. But considering we're only three rounds into this bout, for Ascent at least, that's a, uh, a, a fantastic start. You see stars littering. Your, your mini map as X sets posturing towards B. They have a full stack over there. Nobody sniffing anything out. They want to go aggressive. He did with the curveball getting his way in. Looks like they have a couple of good lineups to clear out anything happening across market. The curveball's there as well. Deuce looking to stay alive. And he's not going to be able to. Two members of NV remain. An operator in the hands of Mummy and then FNS with the Spectre. And again, a question where... I mean, they can choose to go for it here. Imagine it won't be easy. Wait, see whether or not Mummy can find Whoa. one and then... Ooh, okay. Yeah. So Aaron using that Cosmic Divide early on. And, I mean, sure, that's going to buy you time. Looking to see if he can get any info. Just peeking on the other side of the wall. And it looks like for, for Envy, the win here might be just having drawn that out. Yeah, FNS right, is like, going to do what he can to make sure that they aren't able to get away with these guns. Oh, wow. FNS creeping through the cloud burst. Good for two. And oh, man. Yeah, they dealt the damage. The spikes are going to go off. But what an excellent, really, like, trap they put Xset into. Yeah, you give two more points on the ultimate towards that lockdown for FNS. One more for Mame. And even more importantly, as you're saying, you're, you're limiting the economic advantage that you're going to give to Xset by losing that round. You know, they're, they're going to have to rebuy quite a bit. Got mm -hmm. light armor on BCJ to make sure he's got utility. And no one on the side of Xset now has, you know, any kind of sizable economy for rounds in the future. So, nope. the other side of things, Envy, where they invested in this operator early, definitely were, were a little stunned on the bonus. Weren't able to clean up the following round. And now, you know, you maybe lost the prior round to Xset, but... You've maintained that operator. And you've got the ultimate coming out early here from Dwayfe over at AMA. And not only that, but they put the ult orb in Weeded's pocket to get that run back online. And sure enough, he uses it to pave the way to get onto the site. The thing is, because of the because of the lockdown, they're respecting that. They're not playing it aggressively. So the run back doesn't really grab very much value at all. We'll see what Victor can do with his as Caboose gets one with the showstopper. Ashies. Spidey sense is tingling, understanding that there was one in the smoke. He gets it, but he drops it. Mummy! Mummy's frenzy! And really, Envy across the board, they're able to retake that site, having only dropped two Lex. Yeah, that's... That was an interesting post-plant there for x I I feel like sometimes when we're watching these teams on Ascent specifically on A, the amount of times you see teams partially hiding, partially fighting, the entire Envy roster just walked across heaven basically and into the site through a door uncontested you saw pure just trying to hide in his own cloud burst in the middle of site he made hiding deep in hell and it, it just seemed very disjointed and unfortunately you know giving giving envy a clean round win there means not only are you going to be strapped this round you got a couple specters a frenzy in the hands of pure because you're gonna have the blade storm but you've got a mostly broken by here envy keeping all their weaponry and then some it's a tough spot to be in here for Exit, because uh, as I'm saying, you hope for at least a few more kills on that retake, even though you lose it early. Hunter, Hunter's Fury from BCJ, clear out that tree area, no tags. Door closed now, so pure, all for the moment. At any moment, this A splits our way, Doug. Yeah, and you can tell they're trying to force in, right? They've invested a couple of Woo. ultimates, and this might be why. Pure is already good for two, with the Bladesworm not able to land another. The curveball from Victor proving to be too much. 
as Caboose was on the flank, he takes away Cat. There is no control in Tree. The thing is, Exet do have three members on the site, and they have decent weaponry, right? A couple of Spectres and Phantom in the hands of Weeded. Caboose is going to be the first on the swing. He's going to drop. Victor looking to find some of his own spots. One player looks for a second, does it, and crashes. Took care of Weeded. Envy once again showing proficiency in taking the site back. Exet, they didn't bring great guns into this, but this was certainly a winnable round. Yeah, I won't read too much into that post plant considering what I had just spoken on, but hey, those entries from Pure, considering, as you said, limited weaponry, limited opportunity to really win that round, you bust out a couple ultimates, Hunter's Fury, a Blade Storm, and it ends up, uh, you know, getting the spike plant down, pressuring Envy a bit to at least invest some weaponry to, to retake that, but really isn't going to do anything horrendous to their economy. You've still got another buy to deal with. If you just check out the inventory there on Exit, you've got a couple Bucky's, a Frenzy, a Sheriff, and a Vandal. We'll see what they can do with it now as they uh, mostly pressuring towards mid with all five players. And you'll often see teams in a light buy, in a, in a broken buy like this, try to exploit the middle of the map to at least take some space away. Crashy spotted it early, and now that was a spike carrier too. The Hunter's Fury taking BCJ out. Sure made up a lot of ground there, just dodging the Hunter's Furies. And and I wonder whether or not... Yeah, okay, so they're going to go ahead, try and pressure three a little bit. And if they had gotten that kill, maybe you're able to draw a rotate, but there's still three players from Envy who are very aware of the fact that they've given up mid, they don't have control of B main, and they don't really know where the last remembering, remaining players of Exit are. So that ground that Pure had just made really is kind of useless at this point. Is yeah. No traffic will come to pass. See the nano swarms coming out. Should be a pretty decent indicator of what's coming. As the door gets shot through, Victor Spike though, down, and he's please. just so consistent. He's so reliable for envy. The spikes down again in a really brutal spot. Pure has to go in. A great flash, able to get one, but gets shot right in the back of the head. As he's not able to respond to that at all. We did left alone with five health. The hot hands almost enough to take him out. We'll see if he's able to do anything with the sheriff. Yep. Okay. Right. That certainly helps, but again, still in a 1v4 box. Not sure if the ult orbs. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna grab the ult orb. Ten seconds left. And when he dies, you'll have his running back for the next round. So, you know what? Whatever. Just go ahead, swing, take a fight. Yep. Count that as a consolation moving into the next round. And Envy, who have just, you know, for many rounds now leading to the last map, have looked extremely confident and, and very strong. They managed that broken buy from Exit very well. Another gun round coming up now. See Victor topping the scoreboard at 11 and 4. Another standout performance from the Phoenix. And he's got the run it back here. FNS is going to have the lockdown mummy one point away from the cosmic divide. Meanwhile, not the same luxury as far as ultimate economy goes for Exet. They do have rifles, and you you find yourself in a position here, Lex, where this this half, I and mean, you're you could already make an argument that it's getting out of hand, but you're still in a position where you can salvage it. But you, you've really got to start here. You've got to get something going if you're Exet. Yeah, and they have five players ready to go here at B, and there's only one player directly on the site. Crashies oh, is now here to help FNS, but that Killjoy ultimate, that lockdown, going to delay things indefinitely. They have no way to deal with it. Yeah. And suddenly, Exet, who have taken no map control in the round, we're expecting to just walk into B with an execute, run into some Killjoy utility, then the lockdown, and now we're at a standstill where they've somehow got to reclaim map control without being too obvious about it already. Mummy in a dangerous angle here at mid reposts on Jeez. it pure pays the price and now it's a 5v4 and that that glimmer of hope that exit had, had in this half that you were illustrating for us bcj wants it back so bad walking all the way up to defender spawn a greedy position but perhaps one that will pay off dividends if he's able to find anything here doug uh, Aaron's still playing pretty far back but victor wise to the fact that they've given up middle of the map control got one got traded out the thing is, there are still two remaining members on the side of Envy. Well, there were until Twyfo took care of him. The, there's a lockdown coming up from Twyfo himself. Mummy's up. Not good that time. The classic isn't going to do it either. They somehow managed to establish enough control to be able to work their way towards A. He did. Still has that ult in his back pocket. Ten seconds left. The wall's going to go up. The spike's going to go down. And now it's going to be on Envy in a 2v3. Numbers disadvantage to take the site back. And again... They're going to be coming in from the same angle. Up in heaven. We did good for one. 
Finesse trades it out. Finesse not able to make any magic happen. A 3k for Weeded. He didn't use the run it back. He's able to bring that into the next round. And Lex, that did not look good at the beginning, right? Like, no. they, 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 you almost looked at the situation and went, oh, he's going to be free, right? Like, there's only one player there, but the lockdown alone really almost set the, the round in a complete tizzy. Yeah, and I think it was actually, I, I was kind of painting it as being dangerous, but the decision to regroup and reset there towards tiles in mid, you know, Envy luckily hadn't taken any sort of, you know, aggressive positions there, despite the fact that, that yeah. Mame had found that, found that pick it back mid. You, you, you almost felt like Xset had no other option but to re-hit yeah. it or, or, or move into a B-split perhaps, but BCJ kind of leading the charge and Thwaifo with two huge entries over there at Defender Spawn really changed, turned the tide of the round and... We saw we did with some heroics as well to finish it out. Victor's gonna pop his run it back. It's a lot of information no way, players over here, they made. And that no set way. hot hands towards Cubby finds one onto Aaron, and we did blind as all heck towards Bike will fall. And now this is a five on three with Exit limping already in this round. And and like again, the damage has been done. Right in the previous round, it was the lockdown that really set things sideways. This time it was the run it back. But can Exit pull something out of their hats again, right? They were able to take care of Victor. They were kind of try to equalize things a bit or at least tip them a bit more towards their favor. But the clock is not their friend. Envy's playing very defaulty because they have a numbers advantage. They can. Exit, they're, they're going to have to decide something here soon. Yeah, at this point, I don't, don't wholeheartedly know that there's an easy left. answer or solution to their problems, but... They're doing this again where, okay, the round's falling apart. 25 seconds left. Let's go hit something, contact it together, and trade it out. Crashies. Good for one. Trades out. There's only one, remainder, one remaining member again. on the site. Yep, and Dwyfo once again goes huge. Caboose drops. Members left. of Envy are going to have to rotate over as the spike goes down. And somehow, Exit find themselves in a spot where the beginning of the round goes absolutely sideways, and they might walk away with this dang thing. Comes once again off the back of the heroics of Thwaifo. The round isn't over yet. Still in a 2v2 with his man BCJ. Thwaifo, clean aggressive. Oh, beautiful. Thwaifo swings and FNS responds even more beautifully. BCJ good for one. He's going to have to dance around the generator. Not able to take care of things. Mummy's classic does. As BCJ drops, Mummy's going to get the defuse. and we get to six. So close. And considering how that round went, you really can't be too upset if you're exit because that that round seemed as though there was no way you're even going to get a spike plan out of it and yet drawing it down to the final moments in a 1v1 with a classic being the decider you know what considering it's 6-3 now it, it definitely has felt as though you know, in a few of these rounds envy just let them slip through that almost was one more but you know, considering the economic situation is, is in dire straits for Exet here, Doug, I, I wonder whether or not you know, they've tried a few different times in this half to, to kind of roll into a five-man exec early. Tried to play it fast and loose for a moment or two over there towards B-Main and, and found some success. And also got stuffed just as often. They may try it again. BCJ has the Hunter's Fury. Right, and previously we saw them invest that to clear out Tree with Pure's Blade Storm. This time, not the case. Pure works his way into Tree for free. But again, they've got to deliver up close and personal into Victor front pocket, and Victor dismisses and disposes of him with relative ease. BCJ is left alone here. He's got the Bucky. Looking to see if he can pick up a weapon. There's, there's nothing there. A one v three. Yep, and the, I mean, the classic shot was nice, but it wasn't enough to land the kill. Caboose takes care of him. And for for Exit here, I mentioned earlier, we saw him in a position like this before where they heavily invested ultimates to try to win the round. This time, they're going to carry it into a rifle. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do with it. You mentioned it, BCJ was using his Hunter's Fury early on in this game to uh, clear out the tree position to make the A split a bit easier. And right there, I don't think the read was terrible. They knew Victor was inside of a main, and they just like, hey, we'll, we'll pinch him from tree side, but it didn't end up working out. So another Harness Fury off the rip, trying to create that space. Run it back, gets popped, oh, and we did immediate deletion from Generator, and Counter Hunter's Fury is accompanied oh by a three-piece from FNS, who holds tall, 
strong and fast at the front of the A site. And now it's just Aaron and BCJ once again finding themselves in a very, very disadvantaged position in a round. And there's already a double flank back side of this map. And there's just nowhere to go. Aaron's backed into wine, executed there by Victor, who finds two on the round. Somebody by that three piece from FNS. And things are looking so good for Envy. Yeah, and, and it, honestly, yes, things are looking very good for Envy, but also that was a round where Exit had the tools to make something happen, right? Like you saw him invested early, the early Hunter Shuri out of BCJ, the run it back from we did, not netting anything, right? And then yeah. you see a couple of ultimates coming out in, in response. It's just, it's a bit scary for Exit given how that round went. Absolutely. And and when you do have all those tools available to you, not able to capitalize, not only is that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, a terrible outcome for your prospects of winning the map and potentially keeping the series hopes alive. There's that defensive mm. lockdown again from FNS. Mm -hmm. It's just going mm -hmm. to stunt any sort of aggression at B early on from Exet. They've got a turnaround, reset, Grab map control that they don't have already, and this is just envy one step ahead each and every time in these rounds. It really is. And the thing is, you mentioned have to retake map control. BCJ didn't have very much on the other side, right? Like, there was nobody across the middle. BCJ was still playing back. Uh-oh. B-Main, Mame's about to make contact. There it is. Thwaifo thought he had a home free B-Main. And Envy, who popped that lockdown, they used it to take control back. And look at this. Victor in advance spot it well. <laughs> okay. Spike down. Okay. A. Victor not able to land anything, but Caboose is as Caboose. So, like, this is almost, it almost has the same effect as the lockdown, right? But this time it actually walks away with a the kill. They have to respect that ultimate. It just buys time. You're just delaying over and over. And X set it are in a position where, like, all right, we took care of the, the lockdown. We waited out while well, they didn't. They, they, we, but the showstopper's offline. Now you have 11 seconds. You've got to go. And then Envy just has excellent site control. They're able to control the pinpoints into the site. There's no way in for X set. That looked so easy for Caboose just from, I think it was uh, Victor's perspective over in Wine. Paint shells came in. Stopper came out and quickly Xset was silenced and a dominant half from Envy just start to finish. There's a few opportunities for Xset to really bring the game back. Economically speaking, they didn't let Envy just run away with it right away. And in, in a few late round odd man situations, you know, they were winning, I think it was like a 3v5 and almost a 3v4 to the round after that. So Xset looked alive individually at different points, but, you know, as a team, they just seemed to be either underperforming or just straight up out class by the likes of Envy once again here on Ascent. Not too unfamiliar considering how Haven went. We'll see if Xed is able to find more success on the defensive side of the map. Envy has already taken the middle. They're, they're working their way all up into the belly of the beast. They've taken market control. They also have FNS who's working his way in through B. My gosh, BCJ never stood a chance, Lex. Yeah, just getting mauled on the B site, no help from any teammates, and all four players from Xset are flying in through defender spawn, retaking switch, and Crashy will be the first to find one. This looks good for Xset. A, a 2v2 well, of course. Wow. That may have been my fault. <laughs> As I say <laughs> that, Envy just once again picks him apart, and Caboose was able to take care of that final round with, I, I think he had like 13 health left. Yeah, I, and, and I think maybe this is, I don't know when this started happening for Exit, but it definitely was at some point on Haven. But they just look frantic, right? Like th there was like a, a, a huge rush to retake right there. They all go together. It looks like it's got some momentum behind it. And then Envy just crashing down and cascading those frags one after another. Yeah. And it, and it just looks so easy for them. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Exit, you know, having so little of a site control, having no market control, having no B-Main control on the retake, Oh, There's too many angles, and you know, the Buckies haven't oh. been too impactful here in this series, but we've seen them nonetheless. We'll find more of the frenzy, actually. But X said already on the way, uh, three on four situation. Envy looking very comfy here in this anti eco. 
And, you, you know, you even saw at the beginning of the round, it, it you mentioned how easy it seems sometimes for Envy. Victor just curveballed and then just walked up and grabbed the orb for free. Right, and then he even went forward and got a kill to bring that run it back online. Yeah, he eventually lost his life, but you see, it. I, I think that moment really highlights how easy it's been, how effortless it's been for Envy to take what they want when they want it. Yeah, it really feels like Envy's able to bully Exet out of map control, and then they don't, they almost expect Exet is going to respect it, and each and every time they do. And unfortunately, Trying to play against that when... Oh, that's awesome. They're just so confident. Yeah, I, I love that little interaction there. The gravity well into the shock dart to try to really rip them apart. There was some damage dealt, but at the end of the day, the outcome is as we would expect. BCJ drops there. Envy get to 11 and X set are... I mean, they're, they seem lost. Like, they, they haven't been able to get anything going on either side of the map. Victor is 20 and 9. This man is farming right now. That's pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not, that's that's not, not bad. bad. We'll count that as a W in his column because as far as the individual performances goes, Eyes up. he has just been playing lights out on this Phoenix all day so far. Which is what you hope for. Alright, Envy looking to take the matter towards A. There's a there's a pretty considerable amount of Killjoy utility, and they have some presence in Tree Room, so we'll see if this A split works out while I finesse sniffing things out towards B. Nobody's coming through. Nobody's home, but that should give some info. Nice shots from Pure. Looking for the second, not gonna land, but there was damage that was dealt. And that was just enough, right? Like that Killjoy utility, just enough to delay, right? Make them think twice about it. Yeah, and and I think that is kind of alluding to what I was just sp speaking about a moment ago where, you know, they've got the confidence to stand behind that Killjoy Molly and just take gunfights, right? Because they don't expect x going to be wide swinging anything, but Pure finding a step of confidence of his own, wide swings, it takes the gunfight, Victor Falls, who is basically standing in the middle of A main with yeah. no support whatsoever, so. It's fearless. Excellent start to the round, five on four now, and defensively, Set posture decently to handle oh this boy. B split that's underway now. You mentioned they were po postured decently. I'd say it was far more than <laughs> that. We're starting to see some life out of X set as the flawless comes through just before that shock dart takes care of pure. But again, for X set, the important thing here is you're starting to see signs of life, right? Like they were in a great position there. The confidence from pure to swing out in A heaven, uh, to take that challenge and land the kill, and then really to have them walk into their crosshairs. That's important for X set. Yeah, and I think Pure, who who played pretty darn well on Haven in the map prior, continuing, you know, he's 10 and 15. He's not as though it's just some standout performance, but that round in particular was for me where, you know, you take the, uh, the ego challenge from A Heaven, you win your duel against the top fragger from Envy, you collect two more with a brazen retake solo coming in through from the Peter Spawn, basically. Cool. And as I say that... <laughs> Yikes. Envy shuts it down. Two huge kills coming out from Victor. Aaron able to trade one of them out, but now it's a two on three. Hit my of his own, but Aaron, yeah. a really uncomfortable duel there towards Tree. Mummy's going to yeah. clean that up with a running Phantom headshot. Crashy's with another. And here we are, map and series point, Doug. 12-4, X set on the ropes. And, and there it wasn't. I know we've talked about him a lot, but... I mean, shoot, dude, he's 22 and 10. How do you not? It wasn't the lot. It wasn't the run it back there that, that really popped off and, and gave him a ton of kills and a ton of space and information, what have you. It was what he did before that, right? Able to land a quick double. And we did. And I believe it was Mummy who was right behind him. But I, either way, or ex excuse me, not, um, we did Aaron who was on the other side. Either way, the damage that Victor has been able to, to inflict upon X set, the presence that's felt, it's just so difficult to deal with. Yeah, Xset seems a little off kilter. You know, even just going for that mid peak. Hunter Scurry oh. doesn't find it smart, Ooh. but we did, and Pure have pushed through a main now. Yeah, they have. They've taken a ton of space away. They're going to push members of Envy back. And I like the aggression that we're seeing out of them while playing safe towards B, right? They have a ton. They have utility from Killjoy. They have Astra Stars. They also have a couple of members there understanding that they can apply pressure that way. 
on the eastern half of the map and still have safety in the middle and on the western side. Next set now. Regrouping back towards the A side of the map. Three players over here towards Catwalk or Envy. Three players from XZR are here defense. So both teams reading this pretty darn well. But BCJ oh, and we did both getting caught out. Actually, Pure will still collect two. So this is now an advantageous situation for XZ. Now down to a two on one as Mame finds his first. 20 seconds left though, no spike plant yet. He has the Cosmic Divide. If he can get it down, he can really play around that ultimate and make something happen. Meanwhile, Aaron and Dwyfo don't have the same luxury, but you're seeing some of those stars come out. He only has 12 seconds left. He's going to have to go. Mummy, getting the spike down. Two players waiting just on the other side. Dwyfo able to take care of him. That was a brutal spot. That would have been absolutely bonkers had he pulled it off, but not going to be the case. Dwyfo's going to get the defuse, exit live to play another round. Yeah, and I thought Xcept really was was kind of mirroring Envy's movements around the map ex exceptionally well. You had, you know, two players in tree room ready for that aggression, that push to come out. And despite that, you know, Envy came through, ended up getting the better end of that situation. Really, once again, the heroics of Pure kind of balanced things back out yeah. the side of Xcept and made that round manageable. And so two players survive on the retake, able to get at least, you know, they're not exactly flush. You've got a Bucky on We Did. But considering you, you've, you've caused Envy to, you know, slip a bit economically, and so you've got a Vandal on Crashies. But, uh, you know, not a whole lot to work with on the rest of the team. So this is a round that XZ will hope to come away with. Okay. Well, they won't have much of a choice. We Did with the Bucky, as you mentioned. And a swarm is used. He does have the run it back. But patiently waiting this out. No aggression from exit early on like we saw in the previous round. Just waiting for Envy to be the ones to show first. Potentially make a mistake. Great sidestep of Nano Swarm. He swings. He has to. He gets one. Dwyfo gets a second. That's pressure. Yeah. And that is... Oh, man. Confidence now coming up from exit. Coming to bite BCJ in the face form of a sheriff and pure's got three players coming in this tree position against him thwaifo is there for backup finds one finds two nice this is fourth on the round and thwaifo so many times in this game we've brought him up just as being the seemingly difference maker for exit the impact frags on the rounds when that the round wins that they are getting so huge from him today oh absolutely and like you know the, a lot of that was really built off of the pressure that they were able to apply on b Right, getting those kills and then instantly, as soon as those two kills come through and we did swings with the flash, realize there's no one else there, you see them all flip towards A and Dwyfo is able to stand strong, get four huge kills. Do again, like, live to fight another round, live to play it again. Oh man, they sniffed it out. Oh no, this could be trouble for XZ. Pure has already dropped Caboose with the showstopper. Good on we did as well. Things have gone absolutely sideways with Dwyfo. Once again, looking to answer the call, looking to be the hero for Xset. Gets a couple of kills, a couple of insanely important kills. To keep the round alive, looking for more. Yeah, baby, that's three. The spike's down. Things looking really good for Xset again. Dropping the alarm bot and a turret to help defend. BCJ is pushed through B main to meet up, probably in defender spawn, yeah. So it's FNS with a minute to play with. Meandering nice. through mid, just trying to set himself up for a clutch here, Doug. No spike. And he does have the lockdown, but the other problem is Xcent know where the spike is, so they're just going to squat on it. F FNS is just going to have to like go nuts. Land these, <laughs> these, these shots. Win the gunfight, but that's not going to be the case. BCJ finds him, disposes of him. And what's that now? Four in a row for Xset? Yeah, and, and a three-piece coming off the back of a four-piece for Thwaifo. I mean, that round was so bad for Xset to open things up. They're like, okay, we're feeling confident. Let's go for some mid-pressure. I'm going to pop, run it back. We're going to push out, pinch him at tiles. And yet, immediately, everyone's getting just murked, just decapitated. Tossed aside, and a showstopper coming out from Caboose. You know, 
You know exactly where Weedit's body's gonna be. Yep. And it really just seemed like that was Envy's round locked up. And Durr and Thwaifo have... That's big. A few times in this game just drawn things back in the favor of Exit. Considering how well Envy is playing, they need every bit of that oh. air and finding two of his own huge kills. Man, that's so pretty. And that looks good. The spray transfer on the Phantom out of BCJ. Cleaning up Envy. And yeah, they didn't have great guns. But again, Lex, like when, when you're down 12 to... I, it was like 6? Or no, it was probably like 4, right? It was like 12, 4, 12, yeah. 3, something like that. You really can't afford to make mistakes. And you find yourself in a position in an eco like that where you can easily like fumble it right like yeah. things can easily go out of control we see him in attack pause lex what were your thoughts on that well I, i'm gonna just gonna agree with you doug that was i was excited there for envy coming out of a main it seemed as though two different players may have just been you know out of step out of position aaron resets behind the box knowing he got seen and him and bcj both just chime in for collective dual frags apiece you know in a different universe as for pun could have been made there, but I'll save you. Uh, you know, in a different reality, you, you maybe lose that opening engagement. Aaron gets one, you know, one sheriff shot to the face. BCJ gets shot in the back of the head, and you're in a five on three retake scenario. Envy right. really looked like it was just a matter of timing there coming out of a main instead. Right. Exet, like you said, were, you know, positioned well enough to handle it, and they delivered on those kills, and they only lost one player, you know, at the end of the day. So talk about. Mounting a comeback, you force Envy to attack pause to rethink what they're doing a little bit here. And, and this is, I think, is, is already a nice response. Ooh, actually, as I say that, I say they're gonna contest, but they're not. They're, it's only towards A main right now. Lex, it's free. They just got Trap. another ult in the hands of Crashies. They push through and they're waiting for him with open arms. Mummy and Caboose are able to get a couple of kills apiece. They're going to flip the map, push over towards B. The lockdown's on the opposite side, so that's not going to be a factor. Pure looking to once again will his team back into a better situation and so far so good gets one with the friends he has the operator he's gonna try to anchor back and if you buy time for Thwaifo you may have a chance there it is but the hunter's fury looking to negate things Thwaifo takes care of Victor you're trying to stay alive not able to do it mommy gets three to put Exet away 13-8 for Envy